The main reason that the SAT, ACT, uh, a lot of these tests are tougher on students is simply because of that time frame. Now, what I like to say is that school teach, teaches you this A to B route, okay? So, like, for example, you solve for X, right? You solve for your radius. You solve for X, you know, uh, so solve for your zeros, etc. Now, what the SAT does is instead of it being that regular pathway A to B that you're used to, there might be a more direct A to a to C, yeah. right, or a shortcut C pathway that gets you to your answer faster. And so I'm going to go over a lot of these little tips and tricks that will allow you to jump to those answers or the way you look at the problem, you know, activates a different pathway that you can use. Mm -hmm. In doing so, you'll save yourself time. You'll be able to check your answer. You'll be able to figure it out through the calculator, etc. Um, but we also make sure the little things that do show up that we're able to over overcome the common mistakes that show up. And I'm gonna make sure that I present all of them to you. Okay, so the very first one, I wanna go over. The very first one is gonna be percent change. Okay, anytime you get, you see those words. What they like to do is they like to give you gaps that look bigger However, the percent change is always based upon the number you're coming from, okay? So for example, I can say like I had $1,000 and then I increased to 2,000 and then I increased to 3,500, okay? And yes, this is an increase of 1,000. Yes, this is an increase of 1,500. Yes, this number, right, does look very, very, very big and bigger than this one, right? However, if I take 1,000 and I divide it by the number that it's coming out of, that's a 100% increase, right? So you have 200% compared to before. However, if I take this one and I put it over my original number that it, it comes out from, right? Then what you end up with is actually a smaller percent increase change than what's normal. So what they like to do is they'll give you a chart and they'll give you all of these numbers, and you're going to be able to find the increase between them, okay? And what generally will happen is some of the little ones in between will look bigger than the, the ones before it. However, what usually will happen, and they try to trick you, is one of the smaller numbers divided by the original smallest number tends to be the biggest percent change, all right? Anything? They said something? Okay. So first off, number one, write down percent change. That is one of the most important things to look out for because it's one of the easiest mistakes to make. Kids will take the biggest number and switch it out instead of taking it. Uh, do it on a different page. Let's keep this one just for English and this one will just be for math, okay?